Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rear. Today we're doing the World of Warcraft Miss of Pandaria V2 cocktail. As I said, this is a whole week of version 2 cocktails. I've taken a lot of classic cocktails from my past. I did on Facebook account slash Spirit Cocktails, and I'm actually modifying them to today's standards. Some of them are just a slight tweak, but some are like a little bit more. Like the one I had yesterday, which was the Cataclysm cocktail, which is almost a complete overhaul, but keeping a lot of the same basic ideas. The idea of doing a V2 cocktail is you're keeping a lot of the elements that was made in the original concept of that cocktail. You're bringing it into a new cocktail using different ingredients, maybe adding another element to it, something that stays true to that actual aspect of whatever the storyline is. Because as you know, all my cocktails are based off storylines. It's a pop culture theme. So it's a, it, it tells a story with each sip good way of actually saying it. So the original Miss Pandaria cocktail, it called for sake. It was a very good cocktail. It uses the sake, the muddled lemons, the simple syrup. It was a lot of lemon flavor to it. But the sake was really, really dry. It's something that, it, it was good. It was a very flavorful cocktail, but it did have a lot of dryness to it. So this is actually a modification on it, but not a huge modification. Because something I have now, I didn't have then. Because the primary concept why I use Saki. If you ever played the game, played Miss Pandaria, you know the Pandarians are Asian cultures. They're basically like Chinese. A lot of the way they look, the way they act, the idea of a mug. If you go to Pandaria, just the way the buildings are, the way the Sha are, everything. The concept is Chinese, Asian. So, why not use an Asian style spirit called a Baiju? It's a, it's not exactly rice, this is actually a red sorghum based spirit by uh, Baiju. It's called Baiju Red. It's a very good spirit. It's something I may review in the past. I did a few cocktails off them. I made a Shangri-La cocktail. This is something that I really like. This is something you could drink by itself. You could drink in a cocktail. Make a martini based off this. It's very flavorful. It's definitely something I suggest. So now this is the primary where the original was sake. This is going to be a build style cocktail. The original... Obviously, since you had the lemons in it and with a simple syrup and everything, you want to shake it and then strain it in there. There's not really a shake and strain. There's not a lot of difference in with this. So you just have that with your sour mix and your lemon. It's going to mix itself. You're going to get a lot of them notes. Let me show you how this is made. First thing you want to do, add some ice to your glass. Using the petite martini glass. Which you can buy on AustinDrinks.com. I definitely suggest you check that site. You can find a lot of different stuff that they have there. It's definitely worth checking out. So what you want to do is take an ounce and a half of your Baiju Red. Or Baiju Red. It's a Baiju. Or Baiju. Baiju I think the term is. But it's red because it's red sorghum. And I definitely suggest you visit their site, buy more information on their product. It's really good. It's definitely something that you want to learn more about. I never knew a red sorghum spirit exists until this. I like it. But then you want to take one ounce of your sour mix. And then finally, top of the Sprite. There you have it. Very, very, very simple cocktail. Not much to it. But here you have the World of Warcraft, Miss of Pandaria, V2 cocktail. This is definitely going to be something that's going to have a little bit of sweetness to it. From the sour mix, a lot of sour notes you usually get with the lemon. The Sprite's going to add some lemon lime flavors and a bit of a carbonation to help give it a little bit of a bite to it. This is going to add a lot of like herbal, like grain notes. It's very good. Let's try this out. A little full, but.
That's actually really good. You get a lot of notes from this. Obviously, because that's your primary spirit, and you got an ounce and a half of it. But the you get a lot of the 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 grain, a lot of the kind of it. Sorghum kind of does have a bit of a sake flavor to it, but it's not as dry. It's a little more sweeter. So you get it's kind of a nutty flavor you get with that. So you take that, you're adding a sweet, sour, lemon, lime mixture to that. And all together, it's a very flavorful cocktail. And the carbonation has a really good flavor to it. Really good effect. So it helps effervescent. It helps like bring out more of the flavors. Because it's like you feel on your taste buds and it just helps bring out that different subtle notes that you normally get but it's really really good my original cocktail is really good i definitely suggest if you can try the original try the new one as with all the past cocktails i made for the v2 week try the original try the new cocktail let me know what you think it's a slight variations on a few and it's a big variations on some others but it's something that it takes the idea I had where the originals were good. They weren't bad cocktails, but it just takes them and makes them completely new. Something that's basically it's another cocktail altogether, but keeping the same storyline. So the idea I made with this is obviously you get the Asian culture and then you add your flavor to it. It's basically what it is. It's an Asian style drink. I definitely suggest you try this out. If you can get a hold of the Baijiu, definitely try that out. There are a couple other Baijus out there. Since I found them, there's like other ones that I heard. Um, different ones that were like told to me and different ideas. But it's definitely something you should check out. It's a good drink. I really like this. It's something I could probably drink for a while. And it's not very potent. I mean, this is 40% that, but it's like... You only add in an ounce and maybe an ounce and a half of soda, but you're not tasting a lot of alcohol. It's very mild. It's good. But I hope you enjoyed this. Like us on Facebook.com slash Spirit Cocktails. If you haven't already, which I don't understand why, definitely subscribe to our channel. And also check out our Patreon account. If you can, donate to us. It's always greatly appreciated because anything you can give helps build us into a better brand, helps make better cocktails. It's going to bring more elaborate, better things to you that you would love to try out. But as always, drink responsibly.